This is the day the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I'm so glad in it. Well, on to the next. This is a dress jacket that my aunt wants me to um, revamp. You see the sleeves? They are too tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to make them into bell sleeves. Nothing spectacular about the dress jacket. Um, this is going to be an easy DIY. We are going to see how it goes to the floor. It's open. It has a belt. So those sleeves right there, we are going to turn those into bell sleeves. It's like a, um, the sleeves have three buttons on them, so I've taken the buttons out. Actually, I forgot to tape it before I started working on it, so I kind of put the sleeves back on. I'm in the the process of um, taking them apart and since they're double sided kind of because of the buttons I'm going to take them apart so that I can have two pieces to sew and hopefully that'll be enough um, without maybe having to cut them in half to make some bell sleeves so we're going to give it a go and I will be checking in from time to time alright again this is the day the Lord has made I am rejoicing I'm so glad in it um, like I always say, my anthem at the close of the day is do something nice for someone. There's always someone out there that you can make a phone call to, let them know you were thinking about them, um, see if there's anything you can do for them. You know, we can change this world one person at a time. And it's just getting outside of the box, thinking about someone else other than yourself. Because there's always someone out there that feels alone, that feels like nobody cares. And it's our job, Christian or not, to do something for someone else. I'm telling you it will do something for you and it will brighten up someone's day. Alright you guys, I will be checking back in. And again, I am no expert. I don't profess to be the best seamstress in the world. I just do what I love to do. And if it gives you some ideas, if it, I don't know, sparks your interest or you think, enjoy some of the things that I've done, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and anytime I post something, you will be notified. Tell a friend. Give me a thumbs up from time to time. Let me know that you enjoy what I'm doing because I'm growing slowly, but I'm growing. So I know that there's someone out there that's tuning in. Alright, you guys, I thank you so, so much for your support, and I appreciate you. Have a great day. Love you. Bye. All right, on to the next. So, this is the dress jacket that I have completed. Well, just about completed. So, what I did was, you saw how the sleeves were before. They were um, folded over and they had buttons. So, I was able to cut it in half. I cut off the buttonholes and I was able to get two pieces per sleeve. Whereas, how it was before, I would have only had one, which was not enough. So what I did was, I did two based type stitches so that I could gather it. And I don't know if you can see, there's one stitch and then there's another. I pulled them to get this gathering effect. You can probably see it better on this side. To get this gathering effect, which I think came out pretty well. And so now I'm going to, I don't feel like pulling out my serger. So what you can do always is use a zigzag stitch. I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, number 16 on my brother's machine. don't know if you'll be able to see it but I'm using number 16 and it gives you a type of looks like a serger uh, number 16 I don't know if you can see it but it gives you the serge type look so I'm going to use that I've completed one sleeve already so I am going to finish the other one and then I'm going to iron you always 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 want to iron your garments 
because it gives it a type of finished look. I only got a little bit left on my bobbin. Um, I don't like the waist thread. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate with you, but we're going to make it work. Like um, my guy says on Project Runway. I love that show. So make it work. Make it work. So we are going to um, use this stitch, which will give you a surge-like look. Because I've only got to do the sleeve, so it's like I'm going to take my serger out. I'm about to change all four spools of thread. And I'm just going to be keeping it real. Um, it's not an easy thing to um, to thread. Because um, sometimes if you don't get it just right, you got to do it all over again. And it is not an easy thing. I love it. I love the look. But... Um, for this little bit that I have to do, like I always tell you guys, I'd rather go across the street than going up the hill, around the corner, through the meadows, the fields. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so, I'd rather just cross the street instead of doing all of that. Because, like I said, I've just got to do two sleeves and it's not worth um, pulling out my serger. Now, if I had, you know, more to do, most definitely, I will pull out my serger. But, um, like I said, ain't nobody got time for that. Too much work for the little bit that I have to do. So I'm taking you guys along with me until I run out of thread. I always try to thread at least two bobbins per project because, um, if you don't, then you got to stop. You've got to undo, you know, the threading on your machine. Then you've got to set up the bobbin. Then you've got to re-thread it. So I always look at what I've got to do at the gate. And then that way I can thread as many bobbins as I think it's going to take. And then that way I don't have to um, stop and, um, you know, thread bobbins and then re-thread my machine. Um, no. So you try to look at everything that you know you're going to have to do before you start. And that way, it's um, effortless. Because, you know, you've got, depending on what you're doing, you've got the 